Hi, my name is Brad Rosiska, Product Marketing Manager for Consumer and Communications Clocks here at Texas Instruments. Electromagnetic interference, or EMI, is a common disturbance that interrupts, disrupts, or otherwise degrades the effective performance of electronic systems. System designers have to be aware of how layout of various circuits can impact EMI in their own designs, as well as other systems which may interact with their designs. Due to the impact of this electrical interference, organizations around the world have set regulatory limits for EMI. In many synchronous digital systems, EMI can be generated by digital clock signals that are used to drive these systems. Due to the periodic nature of digital clock signals themselves, the energy concentrates in a narrow frequency spectrum, typically around one particular frequency and its associated odd harmonics. These levels of electromagnetic energy are radiated along these frequency bands, which in some cases exceeds the acceptable EMI limitations. Spread spectrum clocking, or SSC, is a controlled modulation technique where the peak amplitude of a digital clock signal is reduced by shifting the frequency. This in turn allows the radiated energy to be spread across a wider frequency spectrum without putting enough energy into any one band to exceed the statutory limits. When using spread spectrum clocking, there are four important parameters to consider. Modulation index, modulation frequency, modulation profile, and spread type. The modulation index is the amount of frequency, or spread, as a relative percentage of the input or carrier frequency. The higher the index chosen, the greater the level of EMI reduction. However, the amount of jitter added onto the clock also increases. The modulation frequency is the rate the clock frequency is modulated around the carrier frequency. Typically, this is selected to be above 30 kHz and less than 100 kHz in order to avoid interference in audio applications. The modulation profile specifies how the clock frequency is modulated in the time domain. This sweep profile can be implemented in several ways and in different shapes. TI spread spectrum clock devices use a triangular sweep due to its relative ease of design compared to others, such as the Hershey shape. Finally, the spread type is either chosen to be downspread or center spread. Downspread expands the clock frequency to lower the band, for example, from 98 to 100 megahertz, with the carrier frequency being 100 megahertz at 2% downspread. Alternatively, center spread evenly distributes the spectrum centered around the carrier frequency, such as 99 megahertz to 101 megahertz for plus or minus 1% center spread. Downspread is used when the system cannot run at speeds higher than the carrier frequency. For more information on TI's family of clocks and timers devices, including those with spread spectrum capability, please visit www.ti.com/clocks. Thanks for watching.